Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone currently joining us from the comfort of their home, I would like to welcome you to our special show today. So, Grandma, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very weird thing. Some of us love it, some of us hate it, some of us abhor it. The attractiveness of grammar cannot be overstated. In, in simpler terms, roses are red, violets are blue, incorrect grammar, can never be cute. Grammar is the logical speech, and in here, in English Olympiad, we know that, and that's why we have our special segment named Grammar Nazi. So in Grammar Nazi, we will be testing very great, the best of the best people who are master of this art called grammar. So, now let's see a promo of our show. And as you can see, we are live. So let's get to know about our organization a little bit. English Olympiad is an international organization with the motto of inspiring leadership. Our journey began in back in 2017 with our first season that had almost 50,000 participants from all over the country and many more who were called many more leaders known as campus ambassadors. So today's grand finale of Grammar Nazi. So let's do an introductory session with our participants. Can we have our first participant on screen? Can we have our very first participant on screen? So we're having some technical issues, I guess. So first we have. Hello, people. I'm Andy Jahirul Islam, an SSC candidate from Idaho Islam College. Uh, if you say about hobbies, I will say that uh, puzzle solving, problem solving, and uh, poem composition. Uh, these are the things I'm used to. We're delighted to have you with us, Jahirul. Best of luck. Let's have our next Thank participant you. on screen. Hello, everyone. I'm Romo Shams. Our next participant is Romo Shams. Romo, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. I'm Romo Shams. I'm a HSC candidate now and currently studying at Boishal Cadet College. And about hobby, I like to connect with people to talk to spread connection, that's thing. That's a very interesting topic you got there. So we're delighted to have you, best of luck. Can you have our next participant on screen? Up next is Ira Alam. I'm, I'm yes, Ira Alam, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm an HEC candidate from Vikarnisan School and College. Um, 
about my hobbies i like to read books watch movie series football and i also keep a journal i write down weird philosophical books in them sometimes i'm into music and poetry that's a very interesting set of hobbies you got there we're delighted to have you can we have our next participant on screen our next participant is teresa buyan teresa would you like to introduce yes. yourself Yes, hello, I am Teresa Bria. I am from Ideal School and College. I'm currently an HSC candidate. And as for hobbies, music, books, and poems are what I like. Okay, we're delighted to have you with us, Teresa. So let's move on to our first round of Grammar Nazi. Let's get everyone on screen. So before I do that, I would like to introduce our honorable adjudicator, the handsome Imran Choudhury. Can we have Imran Choudhury with us on screen? Hello, everyone. Um, would you like to introduce yourself, Imran? Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Imran Choudhury. I'm from North South University and uh, currently doing my major in finance from BP department. And I have completed my HSC and HSC both from Balanced Gas Food Store and College, which is from Brahman Baria. Uh, apart from this information, I have been a debater of the HSC Debating Club and currently I'm a senior member of North South University Finance Club and also a writer of um, Project Hatha Column. And today I'm a debater of this prestigious event. Thank you for allowing me as an educator of this event. And we would like to have you. Thank you so much. So let's begin with our contest. Let's have the visual of our first round. So the very the name of the very first round is pick the closest. So in this round, each participant will be provided with two analogies. It will be an MCQ type question. So for each correct answer, they will be awarded with five marks and a participant can get a total of 10 marks if they can answer two questions correctly. So each participant will get a total of 90 seconds to answer both questions. So is there any question? No. Nope. Okay. So let's move on with our first round. So let's have Jairul, uh, MD Jairul Islam with us on screen. Jairul, you will be the first one to answer our questions. So Gerald, the first question for you is, whisper, speak. There's question mark and the options are, option A, brush, touch. Option B, skip, walk. Option C, listen, hear. Option D, whimper, whine. Okay, I will go for option A, brush, touch. Okay, let's see if that's right or wrong. Okay, option A. So congratulations, you got the first question right. Okay, the second question for you is elusive capture. And the options are A, persuasive, convince, B, elastic, stretch, C, headstrong, control, D, gullible, trick. Uh, I choose option C, uh, headstrong, okay. control. So option C it is. Let's see if it's right or wrong. Option C, and that's the correct answer. Congratulations, Gerald. You've got two answer, uh, answers right. So let's move on with our next participant. Our next participant is Romo Shams. Can you have Romo on screen? Okay, Romo, you'll be provided 60 seconds, 90 seconds. You have to answer two questions. The first question for you is lineage person. The options are A. Foolish tree, B, derivation word, C, adolescent child, D, title book. Okay. Since lineage is has a relationship with person, so the answer would be B, derivation word, words are derived. Okay. C, if it's your answer is correct. Congratulations. Your first answer is right. Let's move on to our next question. In panel, juror, the options are A, accuse, defendant, B, convict, culprit, C, testify, witness, D, enroll, student. 
Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the answer might be number D, uh, enroll student. Okay, let's see if your answer is correct or wrong. Can we have the answer on screen? So the answer is D, so you are right. So congratulations, you've got two questions right. So let's move on with our next participant. Can we have Iralom on screen with us? Ira, you have a total of 90 seconds to answer two questions. The first question for you is Piccadillo, Trifling, and the options are A, Parish, Popular, D, Diagnosis, Accurate, C, Notion, Farfetched, D, Squabble, Petty. Okay, it will be D, Squabble, Petty. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. We have the answer on screen. And we have the answer on speed. And the answer is D, squabble trade. So, so you got the first one right. The second question for you is physics 30. Option A, intellect, noble. Option B, punctuality, tardy. Option C, investment, sound. Option D, fabric, worn. Uh, I think I'm going to go with C, investment, sound. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. And the answer is C. Congratulations, you've got both questions right. Let's move on with our next participant. Our next participant is Teresa Bhuyan. Teresa, you have 90 seconds on clock to answer two questions. The first yes. question for you is trailer, motion picture, and the options are A, truck, cargo, B, theater, play, C, edition, mobile, D, commercial product. I'll go with option D, commercial product. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. Option D is the right answer. So congratulations, you got the first question right. Thank and you. The, sec the second question for you is sign zodiac. And the options are A, poster billboard, B, letter alphabet, C, prediction prophecy. D, signal reaction. Uh, option D, signal reaction. Okay, let's see if option D is the right answer or not. So option D is the right answer. Congratulations, you got two answers right. So I think we can move on with our next round. So in the meantime, I would like to ask Judy Kister to share his thoughts about the first round and the incredible performance of the Imantodori, sir, would you like to share your thoughts about the first round? Can you hear us? Okay, I, Imasar is having some technical issues, so I think we should move on to our next round. Our next round is Rectify It. In this round, each participant will be provided with two grammatical sentences, and they will have to find the grammatical mistakes and correct the sentences. Um, for each correct answer, they will be awarded with five points, and a participant could get a total of 10 points for two correct answers. In this round, each participant gets a total of 100 seconds to answer two questions. Understood? Perfectly. Okay. So let's have MD Muhammad Jairul Islam on screen with us. So identify the correct part. The first question for you is, B, A, will be 
flying to Venezuela. B, next month to see, visit our uncle D, who is a doctor. Okay. Uh, I think it's uh, we are flying to Venezuela next month to visit our uncle, who is a doctor. Okay, let's see if it's right or wrong. Okay, the answer says A. So I think you're supposed to take the wrong part of the sentence, which is A. Yeah. Okay, let's we'll move on to our next. Okay, okay so I, you changed that part, so I think you're correct. So let's move on to your next question, which is A. Um, number two, A, some Italian scholars be stressed, see the study of grammar, rhetoric, D, learning about history and poetry. Okay, uh, I think it's uh, some Italian scholars stress the study of grammar, rhetoric, history, and poetry. So the incorrect part is part D. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. Okay, so you are correct. Congratulations, you've got two questions right. So let's move Thank on you. with our next participant. Our next participant is Romo Shams. Can you have Romo on screen? Yes. So Romo, identify the incorrect part. The first question for you is, Fred, who usually conducts A, the choir rehearsals, did not B, show up last night because he C, had an accident, D, on his way to the practice. Identify the incorrect part. Uh, sure. Uh, it is C. It's a tricky one. It should be he had had an accident. So C. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. The answer is C. Congratulations. We got the first questions right. And the second question is for you is A, a short time before her operation B last month, Mrs. Arnima C, dreams of her daughter who lives overseas. Identify the incorrect part. Yes, the incorrect part is C. The answer would be a short time before her operation last month, Mrs. Arnima dreamt of her daughter. So your answer is C, okay. So let's see if you're right or wrong. Okay, you're correct. Congratulations. You've got two questions right. So let's move on with our next participant. Let's have Teresa Buyan on screen. Oh, no, let's have Ira on screen. Ira, you'll be you have a total of um 60 seconds to answer two questions to identify the incorrect part. The first sentence for you is A. Now that they have B successfully passed the AJC. The students, C, were ready, D, to bargain their classes at the university. Okay, the incorrect the part, part is C, because it should be R, according to the tense. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. Congratulations, you got the first question right. So the second question for you is, being A, that he was a good swimmer, parting jumps, B, into the water, and rescued the drowning child. Okay, the incorrect part is A because being a good swimmer, that okay. wouldn't be there. And you're absolutely correct. Congratulations, we got both questions right. Let's move on to our next participant. Let's have Teresa Boyan on screen. Teresa, you have 60 seconds to answer two questions. The first question for you is, as soon as Pete A had arrived, he told B us that he C will be leaving for London tomorrow after D the, the board meeting. Identify the incorrect, the incorrect part. Yes. The incorrect part is C. It should be as soon as Pete had arrived, he told us that he would be leaving for London tomorrow after the board meeting. So your answer is D. Let's see if it's correct. Yes, you're, you're correct. Congratulations. Let's move on to your next question. Number two is A, when you will come after class this afternoon, we discussed the possibility of D, your writing a research paper. 
it should be the incorrect part is b the correct sentence would be when you come after class this afternoon we will discuss the possibility of your writing a research paper okay your answer was b so you're correct so congratulations so let's move on to our next slide in the meantime let's see what our audience have to say let's go through our comment section so my actor is saying, wow. Farzan Afaya is saying, they're doing great. Ashkid Tazwa is saying, they're doing great. Mezabin Khan is, is saying, this is so great. I think others could benefit from this show. Yes, we can all learn from this show. Nafis Fadi is saying, great. Ashkid Tazwa is saying, man, I'm so, I'm feeling so great. Radhi Asra, all nice thing. Everyone setting the stage on fire. Damn, how brilliant they are. I'm jealous. Yes, our participants are brilliant. Sakira, uh, Sakira Ali era is saying, good going. Um, Maisha Meherin is saying, gosh, no, nobody. Uh, I missed that comment. Esam Hawk is saying, great neck to neck competition. Yes, we are having a neck to neck competition. Al Fatih is saying, they are outstanding. Um, Nafiswa is saying, great. Eferahin is saying, it was an amazing performance. Yes, indeed, it was an amazing performance from everybody. Nuchat, uh, I love that comment. Nazabin Kanis is saying, yes, they, they are confident. Nasneen Nahar is saying, I'm excited for round three. Yes, we are also eager for round three. Ashir Ishak Tawar is saying, English Olympiad is doing a great job. Thank you, Ashir. Miftah Janat is saying, waiting for the next round. And I think we can move on to our third round. So... Our third round is fix the idioms. In this round, each participant will be provided with two idioms or phrases. There will be mistakes in the idioms, and they will have to fix the problems and make it a correct, make it a correct one. So, for this round, each participant will be for each correct sentence. They will provide each correct answer. My apologies. They will, they will be awarded with five points. And a participant can get a total of 10 points for two correct answers. And the, they will get a total of 60 seconds to answer two questions. Understood? Yes. Yeah. Yes. OK. Yes. So let's have Mohammed Jairul Islam on screen with us. He'll be the first person to answer the questions. So Jairul, you have a total of 60 seconds. The first idiom for you is? On cloud seven. Uh, yeah, Fixed the correction the will. Okay, the correction will be on cloud nine, which means uh, happy. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. And the answer is on cloud nine. So congratulations, you got the first one right. The second question for you is nine to six job. Yeah, uh, the correction will be nine to five job. Okay, let's see. If you're right or wrong. The answer is nine to five jobs. So congratulations, you've got both of the questions right. So let's move on to our next participants. Let's have Romo Shams on screen. Romo, you have a total of six seconds to answer two questions. The time starts now. The first question for you is, put in my one cent. Uh, yes, the first one is put in my two cent, two cents. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. The answer is put in my two cents. So congratulations, you got the first question right. So the second question is, in a Tokyo minute. Uh, it's a funny error, I guess. I don't know the exact meaning, but as far as I've heard, it should be in a New York minute. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. The answer is in a New York minute. So congratulations, you've got both of the questions right with 24 seconds remaining on the clock. So let's move on to our next participant. So our next participant is Ira Alam. Ira, you have a total of 60 seconds on the clock. The first question for you is, put the metal to the pedal, fix it. Okay, it would be 
put the pedal to the metal. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. The answer is put the pedal to the metal. So you said put the metal to the pedal. Okay, so we can take it as a correct answer. So your first question is right, congratulations. So let's move on to our next, your next question. The second question for you is sick as, sick as a cat. It will be sick as a dog. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. The answer is sick as a dog, so congratulations, you got that one right. So let's move on to our next question. Let's have Teresa Boyan on screen. So Teresa, you have a total of 60 seconds on the clock. You have to answer, you have to correct two idioms or phrases. So let's have the questions on screen. The first question for you is, pull someone's tail. The correct one would be pull someone's leg. So let's see if you're right or wrong. So, okay, so the answer is pull someone's legs. Congratulations, you're right. So let's, your second question is hit the back. No, so sorry, hit the rack. The correct one would be hit the books. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. The answer is hit the books. So congratulations, you've got two questions right. So we're having a head-to-head -head competition among our four participants. None of every single one of them are relentless. None of them wants to lose a single point to the other person. At this moment, I would like to ask our honorable adjudicator to share his thoughts about our participants' performance. Uh, first of all, I'm really sorry I got dis disconnected. Uh, uh, but it was really an amazing event, and uh, everyone was so competitive. And as I can, uh, as I could see, it, uh, everyone was so competitive, and uh, no one lose uh, a single mark to another one. So yeah, they are very amazing and brilliant. Thank you. So in the meantime, let's read some comments from our comment section. Let's see what our audience have to say. To our participants, Abde Chaudhuri is saying, at least we are developing our grammar problems. Yes, we are. Uh, My Samarian is saying, nobody lost, a, uh, nobody lost a single point. Damn, they are so talented. Yes, our participants are very talented. Isanul Haq is saying, waiting for round four. Um, Mabu Bhakta Mukta is saying, tough competitors indeed. Salmania Zumi is saying, EO has taken a good initiative to make the learning more enjoyable. Ryan Rashid is saying fourth round can change the game completely. Nushat Suba Oishi is saying all of them are, okay, I, oh, I lost that comment. Mezamin Kanit is saying the competition is neck to neck. You're right indeed. Pramita Loga is saying Notun Kichu Shiksi. Yes, you are right. Marjit Indonizam is saying oh, you, you all are doing so great. There is a grammatical mistake in that sense, Marzia. Ashia is already saying, how will the educators choose up to? Yes, we will know that in a few moments. Let's see our, how our participants perform in our fourth round. Okay, the fourth round is crack the comprehension. I'll elaborate the details to you guys in a second. So the fourth round is crack the comprehension in this round. There will be grammatical reasoning in this round to give it to the participants, and they will have to give a test on their analy analytical ability on the basis of their comprehension. They will be given a question where they will have to read a text first, and then they will answer the question. The text will consist of grammatical complications. Please note, this is a team-based round where the teammates will be able to discuss between them but the marking will be on each other's performance individually, okay? So this round means a lot to four of you guys as none of you have lost a single point. So let's have our next slide on screen.
Are you guys feeling anxious? Yes, very. This. Well, I'm terrified. No kidding. <laughs> so there, uh, Era is terrified. She's not kidding. Teresa Buyan is giggling, and Romeo Shams is thinking it's about Romeo what Shams he would do in the next round. So Romeo Shams, my apologies. Jerry Islam is seeing how the host is nitpicking each of the participants. So let's have our next slide on screen, shall we? Yes, sure. Yeah. I think we are having some technical issues, so I think we should read some more of the comments from our comment section. Let's see what our audience has to have to say. So Nuja Tsuba Oshi is saying, Ira Apu, you're doing great. Ira, you have some admirers in the comment section. Uh, Mohamed Nihaz is saying, Romo Shams, you're doing great. Romita Lugda is saying, even their nervousness. Uh, I lost that comment. Meza, uh, Meza Bin is saying, focus and be concentrated. This is going to be exciting. Sabrina Maimun Mihi is saying, teamwork is the best. Afiswat is saying, keep it up, guys. Abra Rafi is saying, the, decide, the deciding round. Abde Choudhury is saying, do not be nervous. Okay, I think we have our next slide on screen. This is a team based round. So team one consists of Jahirul and Ira. Team two consists of Rummo and Teresa. So you'll, you'll be given a total of four minutes to answer the question. So you can take enough, you have enough time to discuss the question with your partner. So best of luck to you guys. Let's have team one on screen. Let's have Jahirul and Era on screen with us. And let's have the first slide of round four. So you have a total of 240 seconds on screen. The, the text is, Bobby, only general council members sit on the president's cabinet. He lol. That's not true. Dr. Rob is general council member and he is not on the president's cabinet. Hilol's answer implies that he incorrectly in, uh, interpreted Bobby's statement to mean that A, all cabinet members are on the general council. B, Dr. Rob sits on the president's cabinet. C, all the members of the general council sit on the president's cabinet. D, no general council members are on the president's cabinet. E, none, none of the above. So you guys have a total of 240 seconds enough to discuss and give us your answer. Okay, Zahiru. Hello, Kira. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. We could take it by option by option, okay? So I okay, say okay. Uh, option number one does not hold a good yeah. because it's totally contradictory. And you, you talk about the next one. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, it says that Dr. Rob sits on the president's cabinet. Uh, but uh, uh, here, if, if you uh, have a uh, close look, you can see that uh, Hilo says that's not true. Uh, Dr. Rob is a general council member and he is not on the president's cabinet. But uh, it's a, a symptomatic of the fact that uh, he might have misunderstood it. Uh, misunderstood it. Okay. So, Dr. Rob sits on the president's cabinet. Uh, if he understands so, uh, then it doesn't go with the first line, of course. But uh, here are some points here, uh, that Bobby said only general council members sit on the president's cabinet. That is, uh, members who are in the president's cabinet must be a member of the general council, general council but yeah. only being a general council member uh, is not the uh, doesn't uh, meet up all the demands to be on yeah. the president's cabinet. I think so, and so option B doesn't stand here, and okay. uh, uh, the same goes for option D. So two. Yes. So when Bobby says only general member council uh, general council members sit on the president's cabinet, he doesn't necessarily you know, emphasizes that they must 
Okay, so none but the general council members sit on the president cabinet, but that doesn't mean that all must sit there. So I think C goes well here. So do you yeah. agree? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go I'll with C. Agree. Yes. So your final yeah, is, your final answer is C. Is that correct? Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. Yay. The answer is C. So congratulations, you got that one right. So let's Thanks have lot. our next team on screen. Let's have team two on screen. So we have Romo Shams and Teresa Buyan on the same team. Romo, Teresa, you have a total of 240 seconds on the clock. The text for you is Abdul. I want to stay out of Mr. Mofis's classes if I can. I have heard that he is very right-handed so far. The grades are concerned. Good news. That's not true. My friend took his class last year and he gave him an A. From the conversation above, it can be inferred that Kudus interpreted Abdul's statement to mean that Mr. Mofis, A, makes unfair demands on his students, B, only gives good grades to a fewer favorite students, C, has become increasingly strict over the past years, D, gives out fewer good grades than the most teachers in the department, E, never gives out grades of A. You have a total of 240 seconds. Your time starts now. Take your time to discuss and give us your final answer. Teresa, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, uh, let us understand the first, uh, what is the question, right? So yes. uh, it said that it can be inferred that could those interpreted Abdul's statement to mean that. So uh, typically it means that Abdul stated something and Kudus yes. has mean, misinterpreted it and replied with something else. Yes. Basically. Yes. So one way to yes. do this is uh, to yes. uh, disqualify the wrong answers first, eliminate the wrong answers. So take a look and uh, eliminate the wrong answers that you think. Well, option A makes unfair demands on his students. I think it is not mentioned in the comprehension not that we've given. Right? So I think, yeah. yes, so we can mark right it Right-handed doesn't mean that answer you must. Okay, yes, yes. it's eliminated. We have to make, uh, only gives good grades to fear favorite students, right? Um, but this it's isn't quite mentioned out too. of the contest also. Yes, it's out of the contest. Yes. So, so can, I think we can mark and it out. Only said, only it's the extreme thing. It doesn't really come with this reasoning. Yes. So let us cross B, come to C has become increasingly strict over the past years. Okay, that's a close one. Yes. Uh, uh, so what's your opinion about that? That is a close one, but I don't think it's... It's a close one, but I don't think it's correct. Okay, Leah, keep us because as uh, we can aside. See, we'll justify later. Yes, yes we can keep it aside. Right. Yes, yes. And then comes D, Staying gives aside, out fewer D. good grades than most teachers the department so sometimes uh, he can give can a also talk. yes so it's yes. not totally related because uh, no, he might not. give uh, a related. something okay yes then lastly we have that neighbor gives out grades of a okay and i guess it's have quite this is mentioned this in the about yeah, gave him an A, directly mentioned. So between E and C, which yes. do you prefer? Between E and C, I think I prefer E because it's more related to the context. Yeah. Yes. What so about have you? Context should be considered. So let us... Yes. Yeah, I, that's an 80-50. 84 never gives stuff and 54 has. C. So let us go for E, right? Yes, yes, I would go for E. Uh, then let's 
So Let's we have an agreement. Answer, and it's our answer e. is yes. Yes. Option E. Answer is E. E is your yes. answer. So let's see if you're right or wrong. The answer is E. Congratulations. You got that one right. Thank, Thank you. you. Congrats, Teresa. So, Congratulations, Roma. So let's have the score sheets on screen. So let's give our educators some time to calculate the points. In the meantime, let's read some comments. Let's see what our audience have to say. So Marjana Bintabi Nizam is saying the teamwork is amazing. Nazneen Nahar is saying, um, I lost that comment. Radhya Nahar or Ona is saying, lost that uh, question. Okay, I, question setter did an amazing job taking a moment to appreciate him or her. Meza Bin Kanis is saying, no matter what you do, all of you are champion. Yes, uh, we have, I think we have a tie among four participants, which is, which will be amazing if it happens. Mezabin Priti is saying, you're so good at figuring out stuff. Efirahin is saying, very good. Ryan Rashid is saying, our assumption turned wrong. Tahiya Zanat, there's nothing to be worried about. Ikramul Islam is saying, the graphics team did a really good job throughout the whole event. Kudos to them. Congratulations to our graphics team. They did an, they did an outstanding job to create this marvelous design. Ishraq Fabi is saying, congratulations, everyone. Nafi Sasha is saying, congratulations, everyone. Efrain is saying, this segment cannot be boring. Nafi Squad is saying, both of them did good. Ryan Rashid is saying, without teamwork, they, would, they wouldn't be able to answer the question correctly. Nezabin Inpriti is saying, all of you are champions. Abde Chaudhuri is saying, um, you, you all are so much talented. So, in the meantime, I would like to ask our adjudicator, honorable adjudicator, to tell us his thoughts about our four participants who have outstandingly performed in our grand finale. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for giving me the honor of an adjudicator, and it was really a great experience for me adjudicating such an prestigious event. Uh, and to the participants, you guys are amazing. Everyone was so competitive and brilliant. Uh, and give their best. I would like to add, no matter what the result will be, don't be sad, because participating in such a prestigious event like this is also a big thing. Itself. So, and Thank I was kind you. of jealous. And I was kind of jealous. I wish I could be, I could also be a participant like you guys. Uh, so I want you all to grab every opportunity, to get on your way and uh, give your best. That's all from me. Thank you so much. So let's give our team back there to start to give the score sheet. So let's read some more comments. Let's see what our audience has to say. To our audience, if, uh, if you want to say anything about our participants or our adjudicator, do comments in our comment section below. Tanzan Mitanaz is saying fantastic performance by all of you. As I'm kind of saying, fingers crossed for the results. As I've been predicting, congratulations, champs. You have already won our hearts. Nafi Squad is saying, waiting for ultimate champions. Sarah Maria is saying, the host was amazing, though. Thank you. Sabrina Maimon Ma Ma Mihia is saying, it is a tie, guys. Let's see. We'll see if it is a tie or not when the score comes. So let's read some more comments. Waiting for the biggest drama uh, segment. Ryan is saying, that's true, all of them did great. Ikramul Islamovid is saying, loved your hosting. Thank you. Uh, Salam Mariam is saying, it must be tough time for our honorable adjudicator. Yes, our honorable adjudicator is having some issues, having a great time calculating the results. I think we have a tie among our four participants. 
to our audience. We are witnessing history. This is the first time in the history of English Olympiad we're having a tie in our grand finale round. So in this session, we'll have a tiebreaker among our participants. We have some tongue twisters on screen. You'll be able to see. And I'll give opportunity to our each of our participants to read this these tongue twisters and our teacher will score them according to their performance and their fluency of speaking, okay? So your tongue twister is, if you must cross a, a co cro, okay, course, cross cow, across a crowded cow crossing, cross the cro cross course cow, across the crowded cow crossing carefully. That was hard for me to pronounce. Let's see if our participant can pronounce this fluently. At first, I would like to request Momo Jerul Islam to give it a try, and our honorable educator will be marking him according to his fluency. Okay, should I begin? Let's let's have Jerul on screen. Should I start? Okay, Jerul, I think we can start. Okay, if you must cross a course, cross cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross the cross course cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. Okay, so our honorable educator, mm -hmm. should Jahirul repeat that sentence one more time? Uh, yeah, it will be better for me if you repeat it once. Okay. Okay. Now? Yeah. Should I start? Okay, okay you can okay. do it now. Okay, thanks. If you must cross a course, cross the cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross the cross course cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. Okay, I think that should be enough for our adjudicators to score. So let's have one more times, one more. You'll be the next yes. person to to play this tongue twister game. You'll have two tries. You'll have to say the sentence two times. So you can yes, do sure. it now. Great, I'm ready. Uh, actually, the, uh, okay. has the tongue twister the changed? just changed. So, okay, your, the tongue twister for you is six, 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 nick, six, uh, slicks, bricks, with picks, and sticks. I'm having a serious hard time pronouncing these tank sisters. Let's see if Romo can perform it well. So Romo, pronounce it two times. Sure. <clears throat> Ready? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Six, six, hicks, snakes, six, slick, bricks, with picks and sticks. Should I repeat? Thank you. I was confused. I think I, I think you should repeat it one more time so that our educator could listen to you mm -hmm. properly. Okay. Six six hicks snakes, six slicks bleak bricks with picks and sticks. All right. Okay, I think that would be all right. So let's have our next participant on screen. Let's have Ira Alom on screen and let's see what kinds of sound sister she gets. Can we get our next time twister on screen? I think we're having some technical issues. Let's give our team back there some time. Okay, there is an adjudicator pointing score sheet now. So we already know that they have gotten the same marks. They None of them has lost a single point to the other person. So I'll just repeat it one by one. Jehul has gotten 50 points. Romo has gotten 50 points. Era has gotten 50 points. Terasa has gotten 50 points. There you have it, folks, a perfect tie. So I think we'll have a different kind of tiebreaker this time. So let's give our um, team back there to find a way to decide which one of you will 
what, you know, what kind of tests we will have to break the tie. So in the meantime, let's read some of some of what our audience have to say. To our audience, I've said it one. I've said it once. I'll repeat it one more time. We are, we have a tie in our grand finale. So if you have any special thoughts for our participants, you can comment it in our comment section below. Benjamin is saying, "May success never leave your hand, and may you get everything you want." Congratulations. Ume Tasme Sanjay is saying, "Congratulations, guys." Sanjay Hassan Tanbi is saying, "That's something historic." Yes, it is. This is we're having a breaker. So time for the tiebreaker. So let's see what kind of question you guys have to answer to become champion. To, to be accurate, all of you are currently champion worthy. But this is a contest, so we'll have a tiebreaker and We'll fi let's we'll find out which one of you is the best. If Ryan is saying the tiebreaker will be outstanding, yes, we ho we are hoping for the same thing. Diana is saying all the very best. Sabrina Maimona is saying super califragilistic expialidocious. I was able to somehow pronounce that word. Congratulations to me. Tayana now saying I don't have anything to say. Umita Sia Sanjo is saying it's tie. Like Han Rashid is saying, tiebreaker is all, always exciting. Remember last year's World Cup, New Zealand versus England? That was something else, wasn't it? We're yes. having the same kind of moment today in here in our grand finale. By the way, I was rooting for New Zealand to win, but England somehow stole the show. That's the funny thing it about tiebreakers. It was a tie breakers. in a tie. In it, was, it was a tie in a tie indeed. Ikramul Islam is saying we all saw that tie coming because all of them were fantabulous. Ikram, you're absolutely right. Al Fatih is saying super. Nushat is saying read my comments. I just did that. My Chanarin is saying <clears throat> uh, Saki Bakash is saying a historical moment. Yes, a historical moment indeed. Marzia Abin Mazarin is saying uh, best of luck, guys. <coughs> My apologies for that. Komit Alagda is saying, moment to go down in history. Yes, only one, one of you will go down in history as the champion among the super champions. Yes, Teresa, we can see you. <coughs> I'm having a hard time today reading these comments. People are so much excited. As I'm sure I'm saying, this tiebreaker round is going to be historical. Abdel Chodri is saying tiebreaker like football. I can't remember when was the last time I saw a tiebreaker in football. Okay, let me remember it. So, to our audience, when was the last time you saw a tiebreaker and was it that much exciting as it is today? And please write down your thoughts on the comment section below. Abra Yutichan is saying, best life ever. Thank you, Abra. al is saying, stay cautious about the answer, guys. Yes, they have to. Every minute and every second and every point counts now. Yes, Teresa, we can see you. Thank you. Momo Tassin Farad is saying, excited for the tiebreaker. Maisha Marin saying goosebumps times. Yes, all of us are ex excited. So let's converse a little bit with our participants. At first, Jairul Islam. So what are your thoughts about this tiebreaker? Did you thought that we will have a tiebreaker tonight, today? Uh, can you repeat, please? So what are your thoughts on this tiebreaker? Did you thought that you'll, ha you'll be tied with other three participants? Uh, it's definitely a different feeling, as uh, you can see uh, that it was never supposed before that such can happen. And uh, the previous live that I hey, uh, watched, uh, that those was uh, those were not like this, indeed. It is indeed historical in the history of English Olympiad. We had our first season, second season. 
and in none of them we had a tiebreaker in our grand finale round so in this segment is special on its own but you guys have made it more special so i'd like to move on to romo sams romo please tell us your thoughts about what is happening right now uh, i want to quote at this situation like uh, i like unplanned unplanned trips are the best trees unplanned competitions are the best ones so uh, like in the uh, prior round we were like a little bit prepared about what's coming but this is uh, like extreme for the t20 match See, so so romo is saying that all of you i mean all four of you are champions so everyone should stay confident so let's move on to era alam era what are your thoughts well i look around and these people are so talented you know they have a natural knack for it so i didn't see it coming but it's not a surprise really it's not a surprise indeed many of our audience predicted it from a mile away so let's move on to teresa buyan teresa please tell us your thoughts Teresa is focused. Teresa, can you hear us? I guess Teresa is having some technical issues. So to our honorable adjudicator, it certainly seems that we have a tie. We can call it a super tie as it's not between two participants. We have a tie between four participants, which is amazing. So, can you share your thoughts to our audience? Uh, yeah, uh, actually, I'm even I'm also very excited to see what's going to happen now. So, yeah, I want every uh, participants to uh, give their best and best of luck to everyone. And you guys are amazing as a yeah. Thank you so much. Our participants are phenomenal, no? indeed. So, let's yeah. read some comments. Alfadir is saying it is to the end. After all, this is the competition. Nushal Subhaoshi is saying, Agreed, Ira Apu. Everyone's talented, including you. Madhavin Khan is saying, Pursuing excellence is not, not a one-time job. It's a way of life. Good job, guys. Nicely said, Madhavin. Momo Tasin Fahad is saying, Tiebreaker. He has some fingers crossed emojis with his text. Saraf Nawal is saying they are super talented. <clears throat> Konak Mojumdar is saying, well, this will be remembered for a long time. So my actor is saying this is unique man, four people, same points, bow. Ryan Rashid is saying anybody can become a champion. Sabrina Tasnim Isha is saying can't compete. So to our audience, our English on the page has posted some uh, some tongue twisters in the comment section. Always, you can always try. Uh, you can always try them at home. These are fun. Always. Nafis what is saying too much fun. Salman Yazromi is saying this remembering me of 2015 champions, uh, champions, champions cup finals, Madrid versus AC Milan. I don't remember that match, but I, I think you have some nostalgic feeling, Salman. Uh, Tanzin Bittenawad is saying, I lost it. Oh, hi Allah. He, she said, hi Allah. Al Khatri is saying, Ryan Rashid, you are right. Nafiswad is saying, just wow. Uh, Mahi Makabe is saying, how much talented they are that they stuck into a tiebreaker and there, there are four participants inside. Abra Rafi is saying, best grand finale. Yes, you are right. This might be the best grand finale among all the segments. Nujat Subhashi is saying this live was really exciting. Something is saying last minute goal indeed. Yes, this almost, almost feels like the World Cup finale. Takia Jannat is saying this historic battle. Loved it. Sabrina Maimuna Mihai is saying all of them are champions. Irfan Ahmed is saying they are all champions. Mohammed Asim Fahad is saying he is excited. Nafis Fahad is saying best final. So to our audience, please share your nostalgic thoughts about these types of tiebreakers. 
So in the meantime, let's see what our team back there holds for you guys. Please be patient. I know you guys are anxious, but all four of you are champion worthy. So you guys are worthy to be champions. So there's nothing to be afraid of. So let's read some more comments. Marcia Bitten is always saying, loving every moment of it. That's what he's saying. All of them are winners. Nadia, that's what Ohan is saying. I want a tuition from them. So congratulations, guys. You have a student named Radia who wants a tuition from you guys. So do let us know, Radia, what you want to learn from our grand finalists. So Marcia Bitten is always saying, all of you are winners. Uh, and Hotsha Maisha Maria from I saying this is the very first time of facing four ties all together. Upper Rafi is saying eagerly waiting for the tie baker. Yes, we are. Sadman Islam Ujno is saying looking for an English teacher. There's not to be okay. We're having some technical problems, I guess. Here's the Buyan. Having some technical issues. Sadma Sadman Islam Ujno is saying looking for an English teacher. Look no further, Sadman. You can find the English teacher from our finalists the here. <coughs> yes, we, we can see you, Teresa. Abdul Tashan is saying, more Jerul Islam for the win. Jerul, you have some admirers in the comment section. Nafis Fuad is saying, think back face. Yes, that is the hashtag for our event. Tahir Janat is saying, exciting, excited for the participants. Al Fatih is saying excited for the tiebreaker round. Madam Khan is saying they're all I wish them all the very best. Okay, so let's let's see what our team has for our participants. In the meantime, let's do a conversation. Let's get to know our incredible champions a little bit more. So at first, I would like to ask Jerul Islam, Jerul, how did you spend your quarantine time? Do let us know. I bet you uh, studied a lot. That's why you are it, among our panelists. It's a long history. Uh, first of all, uh, in the first uh, week of uh, April, I joined a competition named uh, CSPTX uh, Puzzle Day 2020, uh, which is conducted by the CSPT. Uh, portion of Harvard University, and it was a nice, very, very nice, I will say, uh, opportunity to work with peers from around the world. We uh, had a four-man team, and later on, some, taking some MOOCs, that is Massive Online Open Courses, uh, along with uh, some essay contests, and uh, one composition is my passion. So with everything, uh, it's going somewhat okay. Okay, so you've had some experience of this kind of competitions in the past. Let's go to Romo Shams. Romo, do let us know how you spent your quarantine time. Uh, well, about the quarantine, at the uh, beginning, I was in the college, like at college boarding institution. So the first month was inside the college. So tragically, uh, they let them uh, us out in our home. So after that, mostly it's uh, it's now my hiber hibernating period, HSC admission. So uh, didn't do much stuff. But when I saw that uh, English Olympiad is hosting uh, Grammar Nazi and Spelling Bee, it's one of my favorites. So I just couldn't resist and came over. Uh, however, uh, in Spelling Bee, there were better competitors. So I didn't get selected. But in Grammar Nazi, I'm satisfied with the champ hanging over ch the chance we are so delighted to know that we were able to help you pass your leisure time effectively that was our uh that was our focus very first focus to while we are organizing while we were organizing this event so let's move on to era alam era do, do let us know what you did in this quarantine well, I watched a lot of movies and series. Movies are particularly about world wars. And I read some books and participated in various online events. 
But what I did most, being an HSC candidate, was I wasted my days and then regretted it during the night. It was like a cycle. <laughs> so watching movies is, is isn't a waste of time. Movies are a great way no, to so pass your time. You get, to, you get to learn a lot from movies. We had we had a segment named series based quiz based on famous series TV shows like Game of Thrones, Bones, Breaking Bad, and Friends, etc. etc. And Harry Potter. That was a great segment. That was a great segment. So. Let's move on to Teresa Buyan. Teresa, do let us know what you did during this quarantine. Well, in this quarantine, I, as Ira said, most of the time I'm wasting my time and at the end of the day I'm regretting it. But except that I'm reading books, not the books I should be reading, but quite the opposite, you know, fictionals and non-fictions, but not academic. <laughs> So then I'm writing poems and I'm all the time. Well, yeah, but parents you, don't understand that. Did. <laughs> so to our audience who are, who are joining us right now, I'm letting I'm gonna let you know that we just finished our four rounds and we ha are witnessing his history as we have our very first four man tie and our team back there is planning on how they will break this tie and find a champion among our champions. So to our audience, do let us know how you spent your quarantine in the comment section below. Write us about how you spent your time. Did you read books? Did you watch movies? Did you waste your time doing nothing? Or did you do some exercise to let us know but while by commenting? in the comment section below. So I would like to give floor to our honorable legislator, Imran Choudhury sir, to let us know how you spent your currency. Uh, actually, my classes and exams are going on, so there is no scope of relaxing for me. But yeah, I'm doing some online courses from Coursera and uh, looking forward to contribute some events like this. So yeah, it's going good. So we all have some different things going on in our lives during this quarantine. This is not a time to spend happily. Most of us, those who are fortunate enough to spend it, uh, quality time during this tough period should be thankful to God. Okay, so let's read what our audience has to say. Uh, we would also like to know how, what host is doing in his quarantine. Was you asking me what I did during this quarantine? Yeah. Mostly I worked for this event for the last... Okay, we have a total of 100 volunteers who worked tirelessly for this online event. Just because it's an online event doesn't mean that this it's very easy to host, it's very easy to contact, it's very easy to organize. It's, it's, it's any, any sort of event, oh, sure. if you try to organize an event. Anyone who org has organized an event in the past will agree with me that it is hard. You have to do various things like making questions and marketing is a very important thing. But if making questions is more important than marketing. So I will put the exam control board in here and the education board and research board in here and marketing in the third place. So that is that. And there we have a great amount of a plethora of volunteers known as campus ambassadors. They are the leaders of English Olympiad who have worked tirelessly to bring this event to life. So our campus ambassadors are the soul of this organization. They, they have worked tirelessly for the last four years to take this organization from a national organization to an international organization. If you search in Google English Olympiad, the very first thing would come is our page. That means that we are getting we are getting noticed by international publics. That is very nice. And you guys should be very much excited that you are in a tiebreaker in our organization in an event that was hosted by an international organization. Congratulations, kudos to you guys. So let's read what our audience have to say. 
I'm actually saying, what should we do for making our time productive? I don't know, Mahima. You sh I think you sh you can do whatever you want. Just stay safe. And mess up in kind of saying, but happening opposite of what I am wanting. Um, Salam Hayam is saying, can't wait any longer. We our participants are anxious, just like you. Uh, Salman is rooming saying, this final will be remembered forever. I. I also I agree with you, Salman. Sabrina, I'm um, saying, um, okay, I lost that count. My Marin is saying, EO is doing a great job. Efirahin is saying, let's see who wins with the title as champion. Sabrina, my am is, uh, okay, I lost that count. Sanjidul Hassan Sajid is saying, EO certainly made my quarantine less boring enjoying these shows. So I said that by the fact that we were able to make your points seem great. So um, Mezabin Kanis is saying, okay, I lost that comment one more time. So Shabab Junaid is saying, what? I don't know your say Shabab Junaid. Uh, Maisha, Maisha Merin is saying, I mean, saying English Olympiad rocks. Nafis Fuad is saying, can't wait. Radia Nasra Ona is saying, Tahya Jannat Sim, high five. Sabri Tasmin Esha is saying, NGR completed two online courses, which was offered by Coursera and Google Digital Garage. Yes, Google Digital Garage is a great place to learn new things. Nucha Toshi is saying, you did a great job organizing this event. Thank you, Nucha. Um, Methavin Kanis is saying it's giving us FIFA vibes. Yes, it almost feels like we are watching a World Cup final between Brazil and Argentina. So I would like to ask our audience, are, do you like to watch football or cricket? If you do, do let us know in the comment section below. Let's find some new comments. Radia Sahana is saying, I lost that comment, my apologies. Nafis Fuad is saying amazing. So our audience, do let us know what you think about this quarantine and this pandemic. So Radhya Nasrat Ahana is, has said, let Ira Apu know that she has a fan named Radhya who wants to meet her at least for once. So congratulations, Ira, you have a fan. I'm every single day. Okay, Sabrina, my mom here saying, really superb guys. So I think that's in, that's enough comments for now. I'll sip some water. So let's converse a little bit more. Let's talk about some international topics. So what are your thoughts about the Rohingya issue of our country and? First, I would like to ask uh, Romo Shams, what are your thoughts about the Rohingya issue? Uh, present context or like the history? On present context, because it's getting worse day by day. And, yes. and on the, on the, the one most, side, uh, alarming situation we, can't, that we, they can't, are mixing we can't accommodate, right? we can't accommodate them enough place for food, shelter, and other stuff. On the other side, we are in the brink of a pandemic, which is not a good time to be out there in a crowded place. And the refugee camps are not the best place to be right now. So do let us do let us know about your thoughts. About yes, about and the Ramu camp, they are already populous. So uh, like this pandemic, if uh, they have already broken out, so it's hard to measure and control what's uh, going on. And the number is, I think it's not perfectly accurate that we are being shown. So that's an alarming issue also about them. And uh, about the uh, other thing that uh, United Nation has some things that uh, they will be taken back soon, they have promised, but I don't think because uh, it's been going since three years right now, 25th of August, 1907, uh, 2017, right? So from them, it's a very long time and they haven't kept their promise yet. So I'd like to draw the attention of the upper side also here, if they can. So that's my thing. Okay. Personal, oh. and one more personal opinion is that I'm worried about them mixing with us 
too much. That's the problem. Okay, so it's a very it's a matter to be concerned about. So let's talk about another topic, everyone. Let's okay. Let me think about another topic that we can converse with each other. So okay, let's talk about language skills and their importance in to become a global citizen. Do you think that it is important to be a bilingual to be a global citizen? I'll ask a question to Ialo. I'm sorry, could you repeat? I think you're not quite audible to me. Okay, so the topic would be, do you think it's important to be bilingual to be a global citizen? Well, language, you know, we use language to actually clearly confer, to clearly convey what we mean to say. So uh, in a global context, English is an international language. We need to learn it to, to be able to communicate with people, you see. So bilingual is not the fact. If you know English, you can be a global citizen. And for your uh, own country, you know, to exist in your own country, right? They, you need to know your language too. So if you know English, you're good to go in the global field. And the other one, your mother, mother okay. tongue, you need to know that, of course. So I'll give you an example. Uh, I, I, I don't know if you know that or not, but okay. in China, they don't, they don't teach English that mm -hmm. that that with that importance that we teach English in our country or other countries. Same goes for Japan and South Korea. But at the yeah. same time, they are evolving and evolving like no other country in the world. For example, China. Uh, Forty years ago, they they really had any highways. Their travel was there was scarcity for travel roads. But now they're building 6,000 miles of highway every year, which is outstanding. They're, they're, without learning English, they're doing so much that we can't imagine. So there's a plot hole in there, isn't there? Uh, you see, they are their own forest. The Chinese, they're a large population. And when they converse with other people of the world, they actually use English, you know, broken English, not so fluent, not so great, but they do use English. You know, you, if you watch uh, Jack Ma's video on YouTube, he, he does speak in English when he has to speak with other people, convey his idea to other people. And when he does that in his country, okay, he may use Mandarin, Chinese, whichever he sees it, but they have their own forces and, you know, they're like a community themselves. So yeah, Mandarin is also very important in present context. Many people are learning it too, for business and other purposes, you see. Yes, I've seen, um, I've seen people learn Mandarin. Uh, for example, yeah. John Cena, a renowned, a renowned WWE superstar. He learned yeah. Chinese at the age of 45. I don't know how he did that, but he did that just so he could market WWE to the Chinese people, which was outstanding. So the, the thing is, I don't think it's that much necessary uh, to learn that many languages. If we have one language and people can con converse with it, with other people, that's enough. So let's have a talk about a different topic. So we are one year, no, not one year. We are almost five, uh, six months away from 2021. We are supposed to step in digital Bangladesh. So what are your thoughts about it? I would like to ask that question to our Imran Choudhury, our honorable educator. Uh, I think your mic is on mute. We can't hear you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what okay. was the question? I didn't understand the question. Can you repeat? So it? we are six, well, approximately six months away from 2021. So we are supposed to step in digital Bangladesh in 2021. So how far are we from that goal? Uh, to me, Digital Bangladesh is uh, one of the nation's dreams and uh, so special emphasis is given on the application of 
um, you know, like uh, digital technologies to release vision 2000, uh, 2021, which we commonly call digital Bangladesh. Uh, by 2021, after 50 years of independence, um, our uh, goal is to be uh, a middle, in uh, middle income country with peace, prosperity and dignity. Uh, the government of Bangladesh uh, implemented uh, a large number of projects uh, related to digital technologies and um, you know like number of uh, number of these are already underway uh, national ICT policy uh, as far as I know 2009 to, uh, 2009 was developed with a view to uh, achieve our uh, middle income status of the nation by 2021 and develop a status by uh, as far as I know 2041 I guess so yeah. So we are almost there. So according to Imran Choudhury, our honorable educator, we are almost there to reach our goal to call ourselves digital. So uh, let's find another topic. So let's talk about, mm, let me think a little bit. So let's move on to um, Jairul Islam. Jairul? What is the most intimidating international affair that you want to talk about? Uh, actually, if you uh, say what is the latest. Okay, uh, the latest one is uh, the conflict between China and India uh, in the border. And I don't think it uh, needs to be spoken much uh, because world diplomacy is always complex and uh, once you think, once you say one thing, the uh, another day it actually actually uh, it fully changes. Uh, some philosophers say a way, another one another way, and it's totally beyond our uh, imagination of the general people. I think so. So uh, let me ask you a question. So you know that we are allies with both India and China, right? Yeah. So China has recently proposed the sister city protocol to Bangladesh. We still hasn't we still haven't passed it as a budget or a plan in our in in our parliament, but we're still thinking about it. And India has been supporting us in many ways. Uh, we still cannot, cannot we cannot say in one line. So if a uh, war breaks out between India and China, who do you think we should support? Uh, you have got enough point. I just uh, read uh, this question on Quora. I got this question on Quora uh, a few days back. And uh, I, according to my personal opinion, I, totally personally, I think uh, that we should observe the uh, situation at first. Uh, no hurry to make any decisions. And uh, I uh, actually, to be frank, uh, so to say, uh, the support doesn't matter much. Uh, uh, India or China. China, as uh, they have uh, veto power, and uh, India, though, doesn't, but uh, India will have a uh, better support from the other countries, uh, while China has a strong opposition, you know. So, um, uh, to be frank, our support, our diplomatic support especially, on, I don't think won't uh, matter much. That's it. Can you guys hear me? Am I audible? Yeah, you are yes. audible. I had some issues with my internet connection for a bit, so no problem. So you have a great point. India will have uh, big support from international uh, various nations. I think America would lo love to support India if a war breaks out. But like Ivanka Trump tweeted, I'm I'm she tweeted something like I'm I'm going to quote her. I'm not, no, I'm going to paraphrase her. Uh, she said something like uh, We're all for India if a war breaks out. She said something like that. So yeah, uh, that's totally, uh, if there's a war, I would say that we are totally against war. Like our founding father, Bangabon Tech Musgur Rahman, he said that Bangladesh is all, uh, Bangladesh would fully all other countries. 
around her to the neighbors. So yeah, that's a moral dilemma to be precise. So let's talk about something. Oh, okay, we have a slide on our screen. So to our audience, if you are still with us, we have a tiebreaker round. If you're joining us right now, I'm going to tell you that we had a total of four rounds and we have we, we're witnessing history as we have four participants who are, who are in tie with each other. Four of, uh, four of them have got a perfect 50 in the four rounds. So at first, in the tiebreaker round, at first I'd like to ask questions to Jahirul. So can we have Jahirul on screen? Can we have Jahirul on screen? Okay, Cheryl is with us. Cheryl is with us on screen. Cheryl, there's nothing to be worried about. Just stay patient and answer the questions. So, so the choose the correct answer is the question. The first sentence is, Thomas counselor recommended that A, uh, he should take a foreign language B in his freshman year instead C of waiting until D the following year. So choose the correct answer, Jairo. Actually, what to do here? Uh, is it correct, uh, think, rectifying? Okay, I think it's a rectify round. So you have to uh, tell us the, uh, what's wrong in the sentence, I guess. Yes, you have to tell us what's wrong in the sentence. Rectify it. You have to rectify it to be precise. Okay. Promus counselor recommended that uh, he take a foreign language in his freshman year instead instead of waiting until the following year. So I think the uh, uh, A is problematic. He should take no. He take. So okay, your yeah. answer is correct. The second question for you is, by driving through that development, we had to blank the, the little children playing in the streets. There's a blank. So fill in the blank. A, look after. B, point out. C, watch out for. D, run into. Uh, okay, I think, okay, while driving through that development, we have to blank. Uh, I think it's a uh, C. We have to watch out for the little children playing in the street. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. And the answer is right, so you're correct. So I guess two questions. You got two questions right. Should we have our next participant on screen? So we, we have Romo Shams. Romo, if you want yes, to still stay on this tie, you have to correct both these questions. You have to answer it correctly, both of these questions. So the first question for you is, can we have the first question on screen? The first okay. question for you is, the conqueror stole not only A, the gold and silver, B, that were needed to replenish the C, badly depleted treasury, but also the supplies that were vital to the colonials, D, as well. Globalization, okay. okay. So, uh, the answer the first question. Not only, <laughs> yes, I mean, I think all those silver that were needed to replenish. Uh, yes. Uh, the answer is uh, D as well. It's a redundancy. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. The answer is D, so yes, you are correct. So the second question for you is, globalization has led to the contradictory trends, trade departments, 
hard and simultaneous dash of societies. Options are A, assimilation, amalgamation, B, integration, dissolution, C, fragmentation, disintegration, D, absorption, ingestion, E, changing entanglement. Okay, I'll go to the next one. Hands like the control of the chance of the hands to the important ones. Let's go to the next one. It's A, assimilation and amalgamation. Okay, let's see if you're right or wrong. Unfortunately, you are wrong. Okay, there's nothing to be sad about. Let's see. Let's have our next participant on screen. So we have Iral on with us. Iral, you will be asked two questions. You have to answer both of them correctly if you want to survive this time around. The mm -hmm. question for you is, there is a huge demand, spe especially in that market, to grasp opportunity out of the chaos. But it's really about the management controls that are in place to allow that to happen in that manner. So the options are A, stable, unstructured, B, fickle, disorganized, C, steady, controlled, D, capricious, inchoate, E, volatile, coordinate. Can I take some time to think about it? Okay, take your time. You have some time to think about it. I think I'm going to go with B, fickle and disorganized. So are you sure? Uh, so your final answer is B. Let's see if it's right or wrong. Can you have the answer on screen? Uh, Unfortunately, the answer is E. No problem. You have one more question to go. The second question for you is, did you know how? The actor strike will delay the beginning of the new television season and cause the cancellation of many contracts. I think you have to pick which part of this entire sentence is wrong. Guys, taking some time to think about the right answer. They're not marked. Should I just tell it? I mean, okay. Yeah, they're not they're marked. Not, by you, you tell us the portion which is. You you can choose the words that are underlined. The portion that is I, underlined. I'm not really sure. I think it's. I'm going to give it cause the. Okay, your answer is cause the. Let's see if your eyes are wrong. Um, so it shows A. I think it means know how that portion is the wrong one. So, Era, unfortunately, you've got two of those questions wrong. There's nothing to be sad about it. So. Can we have our next participant on screen? Let's have Teresa Buyan on screen.
So, Ter Teresa, you're currently in the tiebreaker round. The first question for you is, Money's professor had him, A, to rewrite his thesis, B, many times, before C, allowing him to present D, it to the committee. Please tell us which one, which one of these, please rectify the part. That's wrong. I'd like to take some time. Okay, please take your time to tell us know your final decision. <coughs> the uh, option A is wrong. It should be Amani's professor had him rewrite his thesis many times before allowing him to present it to the committee. Okay, you got the first question right. Okay, the second question for you is, microcredit has been serving the purpose of poor borrowers who do not provide the collateral. Option A, money. Option B, repayment. Option C, interest. Option D, pledge. I think I'll go with A, money. Oh. Unfortunately, that is wrong. So there's nothing to be a there's nothing to be scared. So let's have uh, all of our parts on screen As you guys can see, I've, okay, I'm having some internet connection problem, I guess. Can, am I audible? Yes. Yes. Okay. I think host is having some problems. Sure. Uh, let us talk about the of English. As this is by foreign uh, linguistic event. So how? So how? How was the experience with this? Do you guys enjoy it? Yeah. I can say it was a journey, good journey from this starting, like preliminary round and semi-final. Now it's final. So it's been a process and in every process we learned something. And it's and it itself I think part is a different. I think participating is the best thing, like uh, no matter whether you will or not. 
phone or not. And English has become a very important language for several re reasons. I guess, uh, firstly, it enables communications with people of different national national districts, and um, English helps graduate students to find better jobs. And uh, English is needed if uh, if students want to continue their st studies abroad, especially in English speaking nations. And uh, I think the English language is crucial for travel and business. Uh, people who can use English travel. Uh, around the globe uh, with the, without any communications problem because it is the international language for foreigners. It's easy to get assistance and help uh, if you are in the, in the airport or train stations, wherever you are in the world. All right, our... So as you can see, I'm back. So I prepared for a 40 minute session and nobody is prepared for history for every day. We have history today. We had a four-man tie, and we'll have the poetry very soon. My, my laptop isn't that much kind on me. It lost the power, so I have to charge it for a little bit. So let's see. We'll wait for our team to tell us the final verdict. We'll find a champion very soon. So in the meantime, let's, let's read some comments. All I think we enjoyed this show very much. Nahida Jannat is saying, Teresa, you did great. Yes, congratulations to Teresa. We have some admirers on our comment section. Ravil Islam from Islam, the host is back. Yes, I am back. I don't know how much longer I can stay because I have only 10% charge, but I have energy on mine. So I, I try my best to stay as long as possible. Alfred is saying, yes, he is in trouble. Okay, I am in trouble, I guess. I'm back. I'm not in trouble anymore. And the general saying, I feel bad for three of them. No, there's nothing to be uh, ashamed of. It's the compensation. A tiebreaker is supposed to give us only one champion. But in my eyes, all four of you are champion worthy. Nayan Shetaroshini is saying, Romo comes, you are uh, so damn proud of you. Romo, you have said I on conversation that oh Nazi Kurat is saying to go. Nazi Nahar is saying I enjoyed this specific segment too much. The Hen was also saying host at its peak. Yes, I need to stay at my peak if I have to host the two or show. Azia Bitanizam is saying fantastic performance by all you all. Ryan is saying, Zabin Kanis, aren't you excited? Oh, he's replying to someone else. If Acharya Rudra is saying, try their best. M.M. Abidur Rahman is saying, now I'm afraid to write anything. They'll find the mistakes in my grammar. Our falsehoods aren't that much nitpicky. So they were that much nitpicky. My, they were the thick boss in every, in every sentence that I spoke. Um, then Tahia Tangamabani is saying we should also appreciate the host. Thank you, Tahia. Al Patri is hearing some pearls. I'm also hearing some pearls. Apita Ghosh is saying I'm also hearing the chir chirping sound of some birds. Renoma Tawasam is saying next in a competition. Ishak Fabi is saying all the champions in one frame. Yes, you are right, Ishak. Diane Rashid is saying the background sound is making me sick now. Can you tell us why is is being stick Raya? Saki Bakash uh, saying damn competition guys. Nezabin Khan is saying not okay, I lost that comment. I can tell you guys that our audience is literally going nuts in the comment section below. They have never seen something like this. So there is nothing to be sad. There you should we got all of have, should have a smile on your face. Nujasamo is saying, congratulations everyone, you came this far. Arjabite is saying, really excited for the results. Your host, can we have the results? Do let us know how much time it will take to have the results off screen. In the meantime, let's read some comments. 
Mohammad Hasan Farhat is saying jokes. First time here, Rudra is saying congratulations, everyone. Takibaka is saying Teresa Buyan, bro, waiting for you to be champion. Teresa, he has some admirers in the comment section. Teresa, yeah, he's doing, a very good friend. Okay, what you're saying? I got many experience and knowledge from this segment. Thank you, Arpita. Sanjidul Hassan uh, Shahid is saying, I think all the champs for us on screen are doing great. Nezavin Khan is saying, you guys are already champions. Yes, they are. Umne Tasnia Sanjay is saying, great. So in the meantime, I would like to ask our honorable adjudicator to do let us know the thoughts about these types of competitions. And do you think that online events are the future of these types of Olympiads? Sorry. So adjudicator, I would like to ask you, do you think that online events are the future of these types of Olympiads? Uh, yes, as the pandemic is going on, so we can see that um, everything is going online, uh, even the classes and exams, and so why not? The competition should also take place uh, in the online future. So I think we have the results posted on screen. Uh, uh, So the score sheet is here. Jangil was absent to us six marks, so Mark got a total of the five marks. Teresa has gotten a total of 55 marks. Ira has gotten a total of 50 marks. That means, Jangil, you are our champion. Romo, you are our first runner up. But congratulations to Jangil, Romo, Teresa, Ira. In our eyes, you guys are the champions. So, champion Zero Islam, first runner up is Romo Shams, first runner up is Teresa Buyan, position. second runner up is Ida Alam. So congratulations, you guys. You guys did, you, you guys absolutely nailed it today. So, best wishes for you, sir. And on that note, I would like to finish our show today. We have, we have three more finalists for you. So do join us. And yes, with that note, I would like to finish today's show. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to our educators. Thank you to our wonderful, magnanimous participants who have taken our system to the very, taken our system to the next level.